guys, it's Lady Grave Dancer, and we are going to make the chalk video. I've made this video a few times for you guys, and something always happens to it. Losing cameras, losing footage, whatever the case may be. But let's get started. This um, video, of course, because it takes a few days for the chalk to dry. So I'm going to make it now, and then I'll be back in a few days to show the after. So it takes a few days for the chalk to dry completely. So uh, you'll see like a different kind of area at the end of this video because I will be uh, showing the after. Right now I'm just going to show you how to make it. So if you have children, you probably have a craft book around or something. Eggshell chalk, it, it dates way back, way, way, way back because this is what was on hand. So a lot of times when you have um, children, you probably already know or have on hand a recipe for some eggshell egg chalk because there are a few different ones out there some with cornstarch in it um, this one this particular one has flour in it so just you know any eggshell chalk would work you just add in your witchiness to make it into a magical chalk so in this particular recipe I'm going to be adding graveyard dirt and cinnamon and the reason I'm going to be adding the graveyard dirt and the cinnamon is because I'm using it on this um, moon that's coming up at the end of the month to draw our circle um, for we're going to be communicating with the dead obviously that would is the reason why we have um, the graveyard dirt I'm going to be adding to it making graveyard dirt chalk is a really good way to um, use in communication with uh, passed on people you can use it to dry, draw on symbols um, I've, I've been known to use it at the cemetery when I'm wanting to communicate something it's just a really good way you can add anything you want to the mix um, the cinnamon obviously is for the protection part of the whole thing you can add um, brick dust to it you can add any kind of herbs that you've powdered for whatever you want if you want to use it you know just whatever you want you have to make it your own I made it so many different ways oh also yeah I'm gonna throw that idea you can add some of the dandelion seeds Oops. Sorry, some dandelion seeds to it to make it into wishing chalk so that whenever you write petitions out you can write the petitions actually out in you can make a circle out in your yard if you have concrete like I do or your driveway or wherever you're doing it wherever you can write you can even do your petition on the wall with chalk so you can add this to the chalk you make to add it to um, writing petitions hence the wish help it come true kind of thing so you can write petitions on your walls, on the concrete, anywhere. Even if it wipes off, the petition's already there. The magic stays, the energy stays, even if it wipes away. So, yeah. So let's get started. So in this uh, particular recipe, you, you need 10 eggshells. And we have been grinding and grinding and grinding, let me tell you. So you just want to get it as small as you possibly can. Do you see? Here we go. Okay, so I've moved on over to a bigger bowl. And as you can see, you can keep going. You're always going to be able to keep crushing it. But you just want to get it fine enough to where it'll come together as a, um, not a paste, but almost like a Play-Doh. Just make sure before I add any of the, the stuff that's going to make it into, you know, the science of chalk, I'm going to go ahead and add graveyard dirt. My favorite spoon. Well, I have a whole set of these. They're getting quite old. The hell, so am I. So here we go. Just a spoon of that. This is not cooking or baking, so there's not an exact recipe to it when it comes to the magical part of it. Make sure you're pushing energy into it as you're going because you want to make sure to keep it very, very uh, energized. I don't know if I mentioned I have about 10 to 12 eggshells in here. I believe it was about a dozen eggs that I had cracked that day that I washed these eggs up and put up. So 10 to 12 eggs. Okay, so I'm going to be adding some of my moon water. Under here, you're going to need two spoons of the moon water, and you're going to need two spoons of flour. 
I haven't done anything with the flower. There, there's nothing blessed about the flower other than it's been in a witch's kitchen. I'm going to be adding this moon water, but I am going to go and nuke it because it works better with warm water. So <laughs> I am back. This video is, it looks like it's so long and it's, after I edit it down, it's not going to be long at all. Okay, so you need two spoons of warm water. And you don't have to use any kind of special water. If you're wanting to make some money chalk, then of course you probably would want to add something like rosemary powder or some powderized money. Um, if you want to see me make a money chalk, let me know because I'm actually out and I don't have a problem with making a batch of it. And I use money powder, rosemary, and I use my money water. My money water is just um, basic water with money in it that's been sitting and sitting and sitting. But right now, this is what we're focusing on. Okay, so I'm going to add two spoons of the flour. Alright, I'm kind of feeling like the, the buzz is gone because I left the room a little bit to nuke that. So I'm going to take a minute to re-energize the area. Okay, just give me a second. Okay, I brought in some selenite and got an incense burning right there. So I'm digging it now. Okay, sorry. I just, I felt like I lost track or something. Now it's for the two spoons of water. You just want to make a paste. Okay, I gotta get in there with my hands now because I gotta feel it. Right, this is perfect. This is what you want it to look like. Almost like a thick oatmeal, I guess you can call it, is what you're looking for, all right? So, let me get in here and really grab it up and make sure it's mixed up good. It is, okay. All right, so now I'm adding it to a silicone mold. And I'm using these circle ones because I'm only needing the one piece because whenever I'm doing the circle. This one will last me probably two circles. Make sure I get all the good. So I'm going to press it into my mold and make it into a perfect little circle. And, and so this is piece of chalk and I am going to leave it in here for overnight and then I'll take it out of this mold and then I'll let it set for let's see so today's Sunday I'm gonna leave it in there until tomorrow morning which is Monday and then I'm gonna come back Tuesday and show y'all how to use it that's how long it'll take for it to set and be right so I will see you guys in a couple of days bye bye which you'll see on that same video. I don't know why I said bye because I'm going to be right back here. <laughs> I need to write. You need to let me write. So, okay, so this is the one that I told you. I, stop it. <laughs> it smells like eggshells, so they want it. You can't have it. Let them see the light, honey. You got to see it. Okay. Can I, can I write now? So here is a T, <laughs> and this is for this chalk. This The design of this one is the one that's easier for me to use with my fingernails. And so this is how it writes. I mean, this is solid, okay? It's solid. And again, it's not as bright. Shadows, people, shadows. So it's not as bright as the chalk that you would buy in the store, but it works just as good, as you can see. It works just as good for the magics. You know, you're not trying to write on the chalkboard. This will not write on a chalkboard at all. So you know this is if you're wanting a chalkboard work, it's not what this is that that's not what this does. But here it is. Let me make a heart for you. There we go. There it is. It's solid too. See that? And you can add color to it and all that good stuff. So 
Yeah. There's the chalk. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you at the next video. And as always, blessed be.